Hey, Trick Fix, uh, welcome back. Well, I'm uh, replacing my uh, fuel pump on my uh, Chevy Tahoe after 240,000 miles. I had uh, gotten a pump uh, put on uh, probably around 100, 110,000 miles before. So uh, in the process, I'm at the back strap and then I come across of this. So the uh, nut is uh, rusted, the bolt is rusted, the clip that holds the, the nut on is uh, broken and the thing is spinning like a son of a bitch. So uh, I decided, uh, you know, I got to take this off because I'm not going to pay 900 bucks to have somebody put a uh, pump in uh, the uh, tank for me. Right now I'm at uh, about $180 to do this project. Um, maybe uh, $200 with the supplies I had to buy to uh, take this rusted, stripped out uh, bolt. All right, so this is what it is. That goes through the little uh, bracket thing. Uh, these clips are like a C-clip that supposedly holds the nut in place. Um, so when you screw it back in there, it's right in there. But as you can see, there's no threads on that thing. That thing, the whole thing was just spinning. So I didn't really want to... Uh, one, I didn't have my uh, cutoff wheel, my grinder. Uh, two, I didn't want to puncture the tank. Uh, so what I did is I bought some flat stock steel from Home Depot for 10 bucks. And I cut out, uh, the piece that worked was uh, two inches. And I shoved it in there and I used the good old Gorilla Tape to hold it in place. And uh, as you can see uh, from the video you're about to watch, uh, it came off without uh, okay I uh, cut an inch and a half piece of flat stock steel I got it in there about an inch and three quarters uh, but it's hitting something so it's just past that bolt and I started to put uh, gorilla tape on this uh, to hold the steel in place all right I won't lie to you this sucks um, I took out that uh, inch and a half flat stock and I was able to get a two inch in there all the way through uh, the inch and a half uh, just wasn't enough uh, the, the way this bolt is being cut with the sawzall it is uh, going on an angle a little bit and I do not want to puncture this tank I've used a bunch of different blades short blades long blades now I'm on a double duty Milwaukee saw blade all right let's get this fucker off of here get pissed Yeah. See, that worked out good. No puncture, no nothing. I'm very happy. All right, well, there you go. That's how I did it. Um, you know, it was a pain in the ass. It, uh, I won't lie to you. Um, it was hours. It, uh, it sucked. But uh, hopefully this uh, video uh, will uh, help you guys out and so you don't have to throw tools across the garage like I was. And uh, you're able to take that rusted, stripped out piece of crap, bolt, nut, whatever, out of there uh, within, you know, a half an hour or so. Because that's what uh, YouTube's all about. 
All right, uh, thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I will see you on the next round.